welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we're going to be reacting to hate comments. Um, I have a lot, so be prepared. Let's see. Here we go. Some beautiful comments. The most one that we get is this one where it says, um, you should have used protection. When people say that to me, it makes me feel like I should give it to my kid. Because first of all, um, I we use protection and second of all, it doesn't always work all of the time. Like, are you guys stupid? Do you know how many people get pregnant on birth control? Do you know how many people get pregnant using condoms? And break it's literally like what is it, rubber? Jason, do you have a perm? No, I don't have a perm. I don't know how to prove that I don't, but... There's pictures of Jason when he's like, what, in sixth grade and you have curly hair? Yeah. And his literal, like, his hair that's growing in here, it's a little curly. Yeah, I need a haircut though. Like, trust me, I've... I know people, like, friends of mine that have had perms and they're, they have really, like, loose curls. Obviously, Jason has really tight ones. <laughs> Goodbye to your future. For some reason, people like to think that if you have a baby as a teenager, you have like no future or something, which is totally not true. No. Um, I can still do every single thing that I've done before. I just add a baby. It's really not that hard. It's just like, it's just an early start to your future, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, people have kids when they're like 20 years old and I'm 15 years old, so what? What is five years gonna do? I'm still completing school. I can still do every single thing. I can still work. Like, why are you so young? Why? Why did you decide to be young? Well, I wasn't even born until 2006. So, like, it wasn't really even my choice yeah. of whether or not how old I was going to be. Like, a kid having a kid. Okay, well, <laughs> you're legally or whatever, not even an adult until 18 or something. But, really, if you're mature, I don't really think it matters. Yeah. What are your thoughts on having a child having a child as a child? That's stupid. I've seen that so many times. That's probably like one of the most comments I get. You're a kid and you have a baby. Are you gonna like cry about it? Yeah, why are people doing this at this age? Okay, first of all, I don't think anyone was like, Oh my god, I'm gonna have a baby when I'm like fourteen. Like, yay! Yeah. You guys know that people like do stuff at whatever age they want, but they just don't get pregnant and then when I got pregnant, it's like a problem. Oh. Boy. 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 <laughs> like I said before, I can literally do everything I want. I've literally hung out with my friend, Pada Laura. I just bring her. Yeah. Like, my mom has literally watched her one time for three hours in the last almost five months. I never ever asked my mom, like, oh my god, can you watch her? Mm -hmm. Like, no. And you guys think, like, another one I love is that your parents take care of your baby. Like, I don't see them taking care of her when they're at work. My dad goes to work from like 5 in the morning to 4 and then my mom works at a preschool so she works from 9 to 3.30. All that time I'm with her. I mean I don't see my parents taking her to work or taking care of her. I don't see my parents feeding her. I breastfeed her and I don't see like my parents taking a bottle, you know, feeding with her. Obviously I'm her source of food. So like they don't change her diaper. I mean once in a while maybe. They don't bathe her. Like none of that. Like are you joking? Uh, the only time she's not with one of us is when they ask to like see her or something. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, can I take her for a few minutes? Like, I want to walk around the house or like whatever. They just don't want to hold her. I'm like, yeah. Like, do you honestly think that my parents who already have four children are going to want to like take care of a newborn baby when their youngest is almost 11 years old? Like, why would they want to restart all of that? Like, I love this one where it's like, you take money from your parents to provide for your child. That's stupid. When have I ever, like, if my parents were here, I would like them to, like, name a time I've ever said to them, give me money so I can pay for Laura's diapers. I could tell you they never did that. I've never went out to my mom and was like, can you give me, like, $5 so I can go get a pack of wipes? Yeah, me neither. She'd be like, um, are you gonna pay me back? We literally were in the mall the other day, and Laura had an explosion in her stroller, and we literally were in the store, and we had to go buy her diaper and wipes. So you changed her, I had to change her into the fitting room. Yeah, we had to get, like, size 4 diapers. Yeah, because they didn't have any size 2. And like that was just me and Jason. I mean, we did it all by ourselves. We paid for it. Obviously, I was gonna help her. I was gonna let her sit in that. And it was like everywhere, so like people could see it. And I was embarrassed. Yeah. Alora's in the video now because she was getting angry. Another one is that people say that my TikTok account is like my personality. Like Alora's my personality. Well, first of all, she's a part of my personality now because I have her. I'm a mom. Like, yeah. what am I supposed to do about it? And my whole TikTok account is based on like 
us, like me, Jason, and Laura. Yeah. That's what it's all about. It literally says it in my bio. So if you have a problem with that, you don't have to watch my TikToks. You can literally just block me or something. Oh, and the best amount of hate I've ever received is when someone decided to make a TikTok account pretending to be me and said disgusting things. Yeah, that was weird. I was like, are you really that obsessed? I like it when people say that, that it's embarrassing that I had a baby. How are children embarrassing? I honestly don't think it's embarrassing being a parent. You're lucky you're white. You guys don't understand. Um, I don't know why people think that my pregnancy was like rainbows and butterflies. Like it really wasn't. I can make a whole entire story time on um, what that was really like. If you guys want to um, watch that, then I will do that because it was... No. Why do people always say my videos? I don't claim this negative energy. Like, what energy are you claiming? Having a baby and getting pregnant? Like, what? And why do people always assume I don't have a dad? Yes, yeah, I live with my dad. They always like fatherless activity. Now, two people who don't have a dad. First of all, Laura has a dad, Dayton, mm. <laughs> and I have a dad, and I live with him. I mean, I'm not gonna post. I'm not gonna post about him. I'm not gonna put him in my videos. I'm not. I'm not gonna show people a picture of him because, I mean, it's his privacy. I'm not gonna like. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, I have a dad. Okay, that was us reading a few hate comments. I mean, that was just my thoughts on them. And for anyone, everyone who um, has hate comments to say about me, I feel bad for you. How do you feel about it, Laura? Any words? No. Okay, bye. Okay.